Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Today I got a really simple fly for you. It's another mop fly, but this one's called the Mini Mop. We tie this with Bug Shop Chenille. Um, I really like the Bug Shop Chenille because it's a lot uh, stronger material than some of the other chenilles that are out there. Um, when you peel this off, when you peel the fibers back, you can see how strong the fibers attach to the braid underneath it there. I just really like using the Bug Shop Chenille. So we're going to use that. I tie this, I fish it in about four different colors. They make like 40, but there's like four of them that I stick to. It's Charisse, Cream Delight, Steelhead Orange, and Moss. For the chartreuse, that is actually Moss. So I'm going to tie it in the uh, Steelhead Orange just to give you a different look. But I fish mostly those four colors. Just try, just try all of them and uh, see which one works. The last time I was out, it was Charisse that was working. So just give them a try, and I swear you're going to catch tons of fish on this. It's just like the mop fly or a green weenie type of fly. It's a great attractor fly, and it really brings the fish in. So sit back and watch the video. All right, this is the mini mop fly. Uh, this one here is tied in the Charisse color. Uh, like I said, the last time I was out, I caught a few on this one. It did real well for me. And uh, I tie them in a couple colors. You already saw the picture of the different ones I tied. But this one we're going to tie in steelhead orange. And uh, we're going to use a Hannock hook here. I'm using the 450 BL uh, jig hook. And for the bead, I'm using a Hannock bead that we just started carrying. This one here is an orange one, 3.5 millimeter on a size 12 hook. So tie it smaller if you have the smaller ones. This is what I have handy here right now. So I'm going to tie it on that. It won't make a difference. The lead we're going to use, um, we're going to put 10 wraps of lead, 0.015. And I just like to get them down there quick. So I always add some lead to these. You don't have to, but... I just like to and uh, we'll peel that off there and then we're going to start with the thread for thread on this one I'm just going to match the thread to the color of the mop and this is D23 and the 10 aught Vivas thread so it's a flame orange or a fluorescent orange and then we're just going to cover up the hook and the lead there so just get that all nice and covered up so it doesn't show through. It's not a big deal if you don't. They're not really keying on that part of the fly. They're keying on the, the piece of chenille that's on top of it. This is the Steelhead Orange Chenille. And like I said, this is nice, strong, thick stuff. I really like this stuff better than most of the other chenilles that are out there. And uh, you just take the end of it here, pinch it just like a regular mop. Pinch it and pull it back and you can see you get the little strands inside that you can tie down. And we're just going to tie that down, make a couple wraps, pull them back, go back over top of them. And then for the length of the mop, I want about two times the length of the hook. So about an inch or so there, a good healthy inch. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of wax and some dubbing. And for the dubbing, I'm using uh, check nymph dubbing from Hemingway. And the color I'm using is black. I, I use black on pretty much all of these, and it seems to work for me. So, just going to dub a nice ball of it on there, not too thick. Just enough to cover up about the size of the bead. We want to match the dubbing to about the size of the bead to make a collar. We'll just dub that on. And then I'm going to whip finish it. And I'm just going to make a nice whip finish collar here so you have another little bit extra orange there. And then cut it off. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to brush a little bit of these fibers backwards to get it to flow with the, with the fly just to make it a little bit more buggier. And that's all. That's all that's to the mini mop fly. This has been really working for us here at the shop here in our area. Um, give it a try. Sometimes, you know, when you're out fishing the big mops, downsize a little bit. That sometimes helps. And uh, this is a perfect way to downsize. All the bug shop chenille, we carry it in the shop. I forget how many colors, like 20 some of them. So there's lots of different options to it. And uh, the Hannah Cooks and Beads, we now carry the beads in the shop too. So you don't have to tie this on a jig hook either. Um, don't be afraid to tie it on like a scud hook with, the, with just a regular tungsten bead.
to get you down. So that's all that's to the mini mop. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger and check us out at holsingersflyshop.com for all you need to tie your to tie your flies. Mm -hmm.